Hello and happy Saturday. I am Jacqueline and this is day three of my 12 week countdown to my birthday. And as I am getting prepared each time for this video to share with you, I really want to thank you for taking the time to watch and comment. I have been getting so much great feedback right out of the gate with this new project I'm doing and I really, really thank you. It means a lot to me that you're willing to sit and listen to what I might just impart and share to you during the time together. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll give you a virtual hug for me, from me to you. Today I woke up and I was really thinking about this video and the opportunity to share with you and then my day got crazy. How many times do you have plans for one thing and a whole nother story happens? Well, my daughter was supposed to fly out today for college. So last night, she was tossing and turning all night long, worrying about getting there in time for the flight. And then, of course, she came in to make sure that we were all awake. And it was not a very good night's sleep. And then we got her to the airport, even though she had a hard time getting out the door. Got there, got waiting, and it turned out that she still didn't make the flight because she was flying standby. She was hoping for room. It's always worked in the past, and this time it didn't. So those are those moments when it can be very frustrating that it didn't work or a reason that she's supposed to stay here for another day. So I'm choosing to count it as a blessing that I get an extra day before my daughter goes off to college because she won't be back until May time when school's all over. And then I started driving through side streets on my way back from the airport and noticed so many branches had broken. And clearly there was a storm last night that I obviously missed out on. And I thought about how many times there's storms in life that you don't even have to participate in. There's residue, but you can keep going past it or you can get caught up in it and get worried and overwhelmed. I could have been upset and my daughter could have been upset about missing the flight. But instead, it was not meant to be. So it's learning how to go with the flow. And I just finished working with three incredible clients. I am so honored and privileged every time somebody is willing to sit in front of me, talk on the phone to me, share on Skype what it is that they want to improve on. The willingness to say, I'm not perfect, I don't want to be perfect, but I want to be a better version of myself really makes me stop and think of all the things that I'm always doing to constantly enrich myself and how I can support my clientele on a continual basis. They give me the fuel, even though I'm running on very, very little sleep last night. And I'm sure you can tell from the bags under my eyes, but the enthusiasm and my heartfelt message is always still pure. It's still there. It's still consistent. And I thought about how yesterday the focus was about love and the authenticity of love. And today I wanted to really focus on overcoming the storm, that you can move past and beyond the storm of anything that's going on. I had to deal with something of opening my heart to someone and realizing they weren't ready for it. And that's something that I do all the time in a heart business, but it doesn't make it always easy. And I want you to think about that. What is it that sometimes you have to step back and make the hard decision and decide, maybe I'm not really supposed to share this portion with this person. And that's okay. They're not ready for all that you have to offer. And so looking beyond that storm is understanding that there are times that you actually have to applaud yourself for being strong enough to raise your hand and say you want something more. You don't want to always be in the middle of chaos. You want to wake up after all the branches fell down and not be awake all night because the branches are hitting your roof. And just like anything else, it's going to be difficult. You can sit there and just feel like you're being sideswiped and you're the victim of everything. Or you'd be like, wow, okay, well, clearly it's not what I was supposed to do. On to the next thing. And that makes a difference. Owning your truth, owning your decision to be the best version of yourself lets you decide what obstacles are going to be giant boulders and roadblocks in your way, or are they going to be stepping stones so you can move to the next chapter, the next rainbow that could be right around the corner, but you got to actually accelerate the pedal and get past the storm. You know how many times you've seen those storm chasers on TV? It's crazy what they're doing, but boy, when they start driving fast to get away from it, it's exciting, but they wait just to the point where it's almost dangerous. Of course, I don't recommend you do that, but it's amazing what happens when the light of the new day shows up and how everything looks different. It could be all in rubble, but it's no longer dangerous. 
So allowing yourself to really work through whatever's going on so you can wake up the next day and be more positive and more optimistic. I am so thankful to keep passing these messages on because every day I talk to you means I'm one day closer to my birthday, getting old. But I'm letting getting old be a good thing. I love every day, every year that I've been able to experience and share and impart through my life with my family, my friends, my children, and through my career. And each day I get closer to my birthday means you're getting closer to something else too. I'd love to hear in the comment section what you're getting closer to. What are you working towards? What are you embracing? What would you do if you didn't have to worry about failing? What kind of storm can you pass through today? Are you willing to put yourself out on the limb so that you can fly free and be good? Or are you going to stay where all the rubble and all the branches and all the stress and all the victim moments are happening? You get to choose. You choose your circumstances. Whether they're good or bad, they're still your choice. Are you going to walk away and move forward to the positive and the productive area of life? Or are you going to stay where it's scary and overwhelming, but it's predictable pain? This is what you get to do. I'm glad I woke up to sunshine. I'm glad that I got to start my day working with incredible people. I'm glad that I got to share this message with you. Gratitude is truly the best road to success. Have an amazing, blessing-filled Saturday, and I can hardly wait to see what I'm inspired to share with you on Sunday. Remember to love yourself. It's the best way to let everybody else know that they are worth a little extra, too. And before you know it, there's going to be more people in your life to love, too.